Hello everyone and welcome back to Soul Stain Inc. My name is Beth and today is Sunday, March 25th, 26th, somewhere in there. Which means it is time for Sunday goals uh, for the week. Yeah, that thing. Anyway, the reason the quality of video is a little different today is that I am number one using my tablet instead of my laptop to see uh, kind of the difference in whether or not I want to pursue using the tablet as opposed to the laptop or my phone. And number two, because I am in the auditorium, which is the big family area in the second story of our home, which used to actually be an auditorium because we live in an old Methodist church building. As you can see up there, the lights have been changed and we have a chandelier in the center of the room, which is very, very pretty, but I think maybe not so great for making videos. Also, please ignore the mess back there. I'm still cleaning and moving stuff around and there's like, my parents have a bunch of stuff up here because it's their house, you know, and we haven't quite gotten it all organized yet after my move. Uh, anyway, let's get on to the goals. My number one goal for the week is an emotional goal, and that is to be more empathetic, more understanding, uh, just a better friend. I have a couple of friends that are going through some pretty big things in their life right now. Uh, breakups, jobs, moving, my moving this month has been shitty. Um, and I really feel like I need to make sure that I'm there for them and that they know that I will listen to them and I'm not just going to try to fix everything. Because I feel like maybe I do that a lot. I do the guy thing and I just try to interrupt you and tell you how to fix it. Um, and I'm going to try really hard not to do that because I think more than anything they probably just need me to listen. But while I'm busy listening, I can also worry about writing. So my writing goal for the week is to finish these 17 blank pages and get this notebook squared away so that I'm not switching notebooks in the middle of Camp NaNoWriMo, which starts on April 1st. I did switch stories, so even though this is basically the notebook for the way we were, I have stopped working on the way we were at the moment to let it kind of sit and breathe. And I am working on a Twisted Fairy Tale, which I will talk about more in tomorrow's Manuscript Monday. But hopefully I can finish that story and this notebook in the next week so that I can start a fresh notebook and possibly finish the way we were during camp this year. Probably not, because I always say I'm going to finish it and then I never do. But it's a possibility. Moving on to reading goals. I've got Yellow Brick War by Danielle Page. This is the third in the Dorothy Must Die trilogy. I don't know how well you can see that with the light. Um, but this book is kind of doing to me what the last one did, where I can only read a couple of chapters at a time. I'm not really able to dive completely into it. I adored Dorothy Must Die so much. And then the second book just kind of killed it until the end when I woke back up and was like, oh, I actually am enjoying it now. So I'm hoping that this one doesn't do the same thing because I might just DNF it if I'm not just really sucked into it within the next 40 or 50 pages. I'm going to give it two or three more chapters and then if I'm not completely enthralled by what's going on, I think I'm going to DNF it and take it back to the library. I do have the audiobook on Overdrive, so I might see if that helps, but I don't know. I'm also going to start reading In a Different Key, The Story of Autism by John Donvan and Karen Zucker. This is the last book that I requested from Blogging for Books, and I got it about a week before the move happened, and then I lost it. And last night I found a bag I did not know still needed unloading, and when I unloaded it, this was in there, and I went, hey, I should read that. And I'm actually really excited to read it. It is legitimately just the story of autism. It is a history of how autism came to be recognized as something different, how autism was treated in the beginning and throughout the time until now. Um, I'm really excited to peruse and really dive into this. We all know that I love learning about autism and being someone who can work with autistic students. So. Yeah, there's that. And then finally, I've got The Tropic of Serpents, which is book two in the Memoirs by Lady Trent series by Marie Brennan. I adored A Natural History of Dragons, which is book one. 
and I cannot wait to get back in with that character and find out what happened. The end of A Natural History with Dragons just, it slayed me, and I cannot wait to see what happens in book two. I am so happy that I have the first three books in the series because I don't know what I would have done if I only had book one because my library doesn't have them. Um, so I am a very, very lucky girl and do own the first three books in the series so that I can get my fix. I did wait a couple of weeks, well, like a week and a half, to pick this up, mainly because I know that I only have the first three books in the series, and I didn't want to read all three back to back to back, and then realize that I was going to have to wait to get book four and book five. So yeah, I, uh, I'm definitely picking this up and starting it tonight. I haven't even read the preface yet, so that's I'm sorry. I flipped actually to the preface and read the first two sentences and I'm, I'm just going to turn the video off now. I'm going to say my goodbyes and go and pick that up because I am a lucky, lucky girl and I'm going to go read it. So until next time, I hope that you read something good and write something even better. Leave me any comments down below. I will see you again very, very soon. Bye.